bébé. Oh, oh Dieu, Dieu, Dieu. You are pronounced the hair bad. The hair bad. Don't bite your nails. You nervous? <laughs> you bashful. <laughs> So today we are going to be taking this raccoon looking wig <laughs> okay to a whole nother level and we're just going to kind of restore it and put a blonde highlight in the bang so basically today we're just putting the highlight in the bang okay just jazzing the whole wig up it's already brown and I have already sectioned out the piece that I will be lifting so since the wig is brown, it means that it's already lifted, which is going to make this process so much easier. Okay, we're also going to bleach the knots, okay? I have not never done that to this wig, because as you can see, the knots are black and they don't look natural at all. So we're going to bleach those knots. I have already made the mixture up, okay? So it's not the typical thick mixture that you would make. It's kind of um, loose. So therefore, I can get it through that hair properly. I'm using the 40 developer. Um, the hair is already lifted, so you could just use 30, okay? You probably could really even just use 20. But I only have 40, so it's like, okay, I'll put it on there and just keep an eye on it. So therefore, it does not over bleach, okay? And then by the time you go to wash it out, if it's over bleached, it ain't going to do nothing but shred away, okay? It'll be over processed and burnt. So, I'm just parting out my section of what's going on. So, I don't want any other hairs in my way. That's what I'm doing here. Because once you start using that bleach, it's definitely going to be a mess if hairs is in the way. So, that's how it looks now, okay? It already has like a lighting type of honey blonde to it. And then the roots are darkened. So, I want to keep those roots dark. I'm going in with a white little bleaching brush okay coloring brush however they call it but i have a white one okay because i want to get more of a surface like i'm doing now so i'm just basically taking part by part of that piece that i sectioned out and just putting that um, that's what i'm doing man i'm putting that little bit on there and then i'm gonna part another section and put that on there rub it through and i'm kind of combing it with that brush like kind of putting those bristles through each strand of hair if i can and then i follow through and rub it that kind of assure that you know is getting within every strand of hair and then um i'm turning my brush vertically so that therefore i won't have a blunt ombre line but i'll have like a seamless ombre line so that ombre is just from dark to light dark roots leading on into the lights okay i am on my next section and it's pretty simple guys because it's only a bang so it's not like i'm doing the whole wig at this point but since this wig is lifted my honeys if you guys would like to see me do the whole wig or some highlights here and there or you know what, what y'all want to do with this wig okay because it lifted so easily that i'm like it's time it's time I, I would like to start doing that and then put some color to it and just see you know i can get this baby shot all the way up as blind as possible and dye it blue purple orange whatever color you know we come up with it's fall of course so it'll probably be more of a what burgundy or you know just something cute i really you know my favorite favorite hair color is mint green <laughs> i don't know why but i like mint green i just go buy me some weave my honeys and put it in i don't be dying it doing all that extra so anywho <laughs> By the time we get done with this little section, okay, we're going to go throw it off into the aluminum, and that just helps it to process quicker, okay? By the time you feel that aluminum, my honey, you will feel it's all warm and heated. Guess what? Them chemicals, yeah, them chemicals is in there, man, you know, kind of processing that hair. So, so go ahead, go ahead. What you got to say, man? Go ahead. Can I do a voiceover? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he want to talk when I'm talking. Okay. Anywho. So, yeah. Um, then we're going to proceed to do the knots and everything else, my honey. So, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. already lifted okay so i am bleaching these knots and i am using a high volume developer which is a 40 okay 40 developer gets the job done quicker so it's like you have to really be checking it more often because especially because it's lifted already okay so if you say oh it's 40 minutes everything doesn't take 40 minutes you need to go on and check it in five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes uh, you could even check it at eight minutes, six minutes. However, just check it and see how comfortable you are with the extra lift, okay? Because you don't want to overdo it. But however, these knots came out so good because it was already lifted. And then that 40 volume developer just made it even better, okay? So it was a nice, good part. You know, you could part it and it looks good. So that being said um it shouldn't take no time for my bang to process and it shouldn't take no time for these knots to process because it is already lifted my honey so if you ever going in on some lifted hair that's you know you have to check it more often yeah they need to check it more often man don't wait no 40 minutes and do all that because the longer that bleach sits there it swells okay especially when we're talking about bleaching knots it swells up so by the time you know it been swelled up it may be already done or you know it may be lifted enough for you but then you don't let it sit too long and now it's going through the lace it's not considered over bleaching it's just considered letting it sit too long and now you you have went beyond the knots and everything is bleach okay so now you got to do some color correcting and spraying your parts and all that and you don't really want to have to do that but it happens it happens my honey and guess what that's what we do we just don't have to spray it or to fix it on out but in this case you know we just check it and then once i am done and rinse everything out i'm gonna use that shimmer light even though i use that bleach which is already blue this is also blue as you can see so it just will make it not look all yellow brassy and boom this is what we have okay so i loved it that um resort how that came out and i was just like oh i could have did a little more like it would have been even better and, you know but we was just testing and just playing and just seeing but like i said we can always go back in my honey's a spice this baby right on up but I like to style it on the mannequin head so that therefore, when I put it on, it's less work, okay? And then my arms ain't gotta be all tired and raised all the time, or woody all but that's that straightening comb, my honeys, I got from Amazon. So if you are interested in it, I'll leave the link below to my Amazon store, and you could just go and purchase it from there. I got a lot of good stuff down there in that store. It's like every video that I do and whatever I use, I go ahead and um, put it in the store, okay? If I buy something from Amazon, I put it in my store so my honeys can see what I'm buying. You know what I'm saying? So check the store out, see if you're interested in shopping there, but it's just all the goodness that we need, basically, for our hair, our wigs, whatever, but I'm making my part out now, I'm just basically putting that um, wax on there and using that hot comb, and then I'm going to put this 
chi still confusion on there now because I'm going to flat iron it all out okay so you only need about a a, a dime size I would say but that was more like a nickel <laughs> okay so I put enough I put enough because I want to see that shine and I want to make sure it's like bone straight and that's what the silk infusion do and it, it doesn't matter how much you use it will not weigh the hair down or make it all greasy or anything that's why I like it my honeys and yes my honeys if you have not already at this time please go ahead and subscribe okay you do not want to miss what we have going on over here in Kale's Nation and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that therefore you can see every video that I come when I'm spilling that tea now. Because I give it to you raw and uncut. I don't play any games, okay? that I'm using my honeys is the Infinity Pro by Con Air. Now you know the blue ones that I use, they are skinnier. I guess they'll be considered um, one inch. But um, these ones are wider to do more hair, okay? I, I've been looking for these. Just a wide flat iron in general, my honeys. But these are made by the same company. My blue ones is made by, which is Con Air, and my blue ones is called Infinity. But these ones are called the Infinity Pro. So I feel like I got these down in the Amazon link as well. So if you guys are interested, because it do, it gets that hair bone strict, okay? But my friend came by, I, did, I flat on her hair, and she had brought her baby list, okay? So I kind of compared the two, and them ain't nothing touching them baby lists, I'm sorry. Okay, it's like them baby lists get that hair bone straight okay so she had a sew in and the baby list was excellent for, for that like i used mine because i just wanted to compare and it was no comparison but these do get the job done as you can see this hair will have its bounce and shine and all of that so stay tuned my honeys
my honeys. This is the Bartolet. I think I love it, love it. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so I already had this wig. Y'all remember that video, as I said. But I'm a blonde and I'm gonna go deeper, okay? So the wig already had came brown. So it was like, why not, you know, try to hit it and see what's going on with it, okay? So now that we know it's definitely a, a go, okay, I mess around and do just a little more to it. Like, you know, come up with something. I don't know yet. I'm just looking because that streak looks good in there, okay? It looks real good. And I'll just sit there and do that all night. I have. You talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's very natural. I didn't do any baby hair lookage. None whatsoever. I think I even just put like a little makeup along the hairline. I didn't even use my little sprays that I got for the lace or nothing. And that was all she wrote. And then, it's down. I know y'all may want like an updated video of what my installs. Or did I just do one? Nope, I did that so in. So maybe I need to just do like an updated um, wig install video. But it's, it's looking, this hairline was very cute and natural. You know, I didn't really feel like I need to do anything else to it. And um, that was it. Now, you know, this is only a, what, four by 13? So, it ain't making no real noise as far as how far back we can go. But that's fine, we ain't gonna let that bother us. We gonna make this thing do what it do because I love the install. I love how that color came out. Okay, I love it, love it, so I even like that brown, but I really wasn't a fan of that brown at first, but that brown came through. So I, I kind of like the brown. It does bring out my little skin tone. And y'all leave me a comment and let me know if I have gave, given you all the details you may need it. If not, we can talk about it in the comments. It's nothing to bosses, okay? So this is considered a long layer bang, okay? Just like I like it. So my color standing out, I like that. And I'm just going to kind of spray it in place. You don't need a lot because you don't want it to be hard and stiff, you know, you just need enough to have them curls lay. And that's it. It's nice and blunt and just flowy, you know, it's, it's nice. This hair was already brown, so that means that it was already lifted, my honey. That means that when I went to put that bleach on there, it turned like that. It was no nothing to it. So just think if I had done the whole wig and got this color, you know, that'd be sexy for real. I like this color on me. It's like a honey blonde. So I um definitely would either do some more kind of streakage, streakage with the wig before I go full throttle because what I will ultimately do is just dye the wig. Um... I would bleach the whole wig and then dye it a color. We gonna get more in the color, more into this and that. Leave me some comments. Let me know what more you wants to see from Kills or what little extras we can do. Cause I'm all for it. I got the ideas. I got the ideas, but I just love when me and my honeys is on the same page. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta start doing segments with KJ here. Cause look how long his hair is. He got some long old hair, and it's that good hair, that good old curly hair. KJ got that hair like uh, Ryan from Black Ink and Nipsey Hussle, honey. Straight Indian looking, some type of Puerto Rican hair. So, he could do some ponytails. That's why I said I would never cut his hair, okay? It's either gonna be in some plaques like this, and I used it no product to do these plaques. I just did them because his hair was just in the afro and it was matted. Like, it wasn't even matted because it's so curly. But, you know, I could rock his fro too. I just got to put some product in there. But, yeah, he, he could have a bunch of different styles. So, y'all leave me some suggestions of what styles y'all want to see me do in KJ's hair. So, y'all make sure y'all go over there on Instagram now and check me out. I'm to do some selfies of the whole outfit. It is nothing major. Today they're playing, the Browns is playing whoever they're playing. I'm not a sports gal. But who does not like to just pop up on the sports guys? You know what I'm saying? And see what's going on or whatever. So that's what my move is today. At this point in the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, uh, uh. The next one. Uh, 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 uh.
<laughs> That's so ratchet. Bye, guys. Love you guys.